I'm here next to Engedi Spa. Engedi Spa is the first spa ever to be built next to the Dead Sea. The thing is that uh, I'm walking right now on dry land in places that used to be the Dead Sea. Yes, yes, everything here used to be the Dead Sea. Also here used to be the Dead Sea, but no longer. You may ask yourself, how long can I still walk until I get to the spa, right? Because they built it, of course, just next to the water. Well, what you're going to see right now is going to be quite sad. Let's do it. The fact is, we can barely see it. Barely, barely see it. Like over there, do you see this area? Far, far, those trees. Where, while this place was built, it was just next to the water. But, but, but right now, if I want to go, I need to go for about 15 minutes to get there or to use the shuttle that this place will give us. Otherwise, it will be quite of a torture. You can see me sweat, it's quite warm here. Uh, not to say very, very hot. So what is going on here? One meter every year, this is uh, how low the level of the Dead Sea is getting every year. We can still see the old salt, see? As much as I will continue walking, everything was the Dead Sea. So what happened? Two things happened. The first one, the Jordan River is 1% of its actual size. Only 1% of the amount of water is now getting to the um, Dead Sea. The second is actually about um, the Dead Sea factories. Uh, they vaporize the water in order to take many minerals out of it. Uh, solutions, you may ask, what can happen? Then, solution number one, uh, bringing water from uh, the Red Sea. The Red Sea is just there in the south. Um, this is solution number one. Very expensive, very complicated. Um, solution number two, uh, the desalinization facilities here in Israel will uh, get to full capacity. And then uh, slowly, slowly, the Jordan River will be able to bring more water. Um, we don't know exactly what is going on today and what is the right solution, especially because we, and Jordan, the country on the other side, we share the Dead Sea together. Um, ooh, I don't want to fall down here on the salt. Quite risky, so I'll go back. Um, you see, the land here is quite broken, but everything here is uh, salt. Uh, let's say I would like to be optimistic. I hope that uh, we will be able to find kind of a solution to this place because this is an absolute uh, tragedy.